and shoot them for what? They never called me nigga. I find nothing amusing or tolerable about this man. He's a disgrace to his country, his race. Every guy thinks he can fight you, wants to take you on, and he's going to prove it someday in a bar, you know. Muhammad Ali, born Cassius Marcellus Clay, trains for the fight of his life. I just keep working and keep training, keep running. At nights at 9 o'clock, I get in, because that's when action starts. If I'm going to die, I'll die now, right here fighting you. If I'm going to die, you my enemy. I'm out to break Floyd Patterson's record. Cassius Clay goes into the record book with Corbett, Tunney, and Braddock as another who brought off one of the great upsets in the heavyweight history. It is befitting that I leave the game just like I came in, beating a big, bad monster who knocks out everybody and no one can whoop him. If I recall correctly, you said you were the people's champion? Yes, sir. Do you think that you're acting like a people's champion? My you know Island. my new name, Island. 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 Why do you want to say Cassius Clay when Howard yes. Cosell and everybody is calling me Muhammad Ali? Then why you got to be the one of all people? My name is Muhammad Ali, and you will announce it right there in the center of that ring after the fight if you don't do it now. No, Clay was not my name. It was a slave name. And I'm no longer Clay. I'm no longer a slave. So now I'm Muhammad Ali. Oh, how do you stand now with um, the possibility of going to jail? Oh, I don't know. I'm just waiting any day now. It was here in Miami that Clay took the world title two years ago. I shook up the world! I shook up the world! His ranting and raving have all made him unpopular. He is hero now to few. From the Olympics with the medal uh, to your own hometown, did this make you a very big man in your own hometown? Did it completely change your life? It made me popular for a few days, but I wanted to do something good with it. I took my gold medal, thought I'd invented something. I said, man, I know I'm gonna get my people freedom there. I'm the champion of the whole world, the Olympic champion. I know I can eat downtown now. And I went downtown that day, had my big old medal on and went to the restaurants. At that time, black things weren't integrated. The black folks couldn't eat downtown. The lady said, we don't serve niggas. And I had to leave that restaurant in my hometown where I went to church and served in their Christianity and fought and daddy fought in all the wars. Just wanted to go medal and couldn't eat downtown. I said, something's wrong. I'm gonna fight. Not for me, but to uplift my little brothers who are sleeping in concrete floors today in America. Boxing is just to introduce me to the struggle. But my main fight is for freedom and equality, and this is what I plan to do in boxing. He has wisdom from outside the boxing world, which he has come here to share with us tonight. Here's Professor Muhammad Ali. I use my image to help or do all I can to stop a lot of trouble among our own people fighting and killing each other. If I'm gonna die, I'll die now, right here fighting you. If I'm gonna die, you my enemy. You my opposer when I want freedom. You my opposer when I want justice. You my opposer when I want equality. And you want me to go somewhere and fight, but you won't even stand up for me here at home. This is a CBS News special report. But government casualties now are put at 200 dead, wounded, or missing. At home, protests against the war persisted. Peace groups staged marches in many cities. Tell me, champ, would you have been prepared to go into the army if it hadn't been, been for the Vietnam War? No, under no conditions do we take part in wars and take lives of other humans. And I will say here boldly, now on television, no, I will not go 10,000 miles to help murder and kill. I find nothing amusing or interesting or tolerable about this man. He's a disgrace to his country his race and what he laughingly describes as his profession. He will inevitably go to prison, as well he should. If I recall correctly, you said you were the people's champion? Yes, sir. Do you think that you're acting like a people's champion? Yes, sir. He is sentenced to five years in prison and fined $10,000, the maximum penalty for the offense, which is a felony. While fighting imprisonment for his stand, Ali was also stripped of his title, denied a license to fight in the United States, and denied a visa to go overseas to fight. He was in a much tighter financial bind than most were aware of. The subject I've changed gotten, so many I've, times I've in that long sentence biggest. that I really... I'm going to talk for a second now. How do you stand now with uh, the possibility of going to jail? In a day now. As you know, the heavyweight champion of the world has just made his decision. He has rejected induction into the United States military forces. It is also his personal choice at this time to issue no statements, 
to talk to no one, though he has consented to sit here before this camera with this reporter. He has issued a written statement, however. He has taken the action that he has taken based upon his personal convictions and with a full realization of the possible consequences. When Ali's championship title was taken from him, he found friendship in Howard Cassell, who stood like few against Ali detractors and gave his support. No people gain freedom until some have to die, some lose their wealth, some give up money. Although faced with extreme opposition, Ali never wavered. He fought in court for five years while unable to work or even leave the country. One man of popularity can let the world know the problem. He, can, uh, he might lose a few dollars himself telling the truth, might lose his life, but he's helping millions. But if I kept my mouth shut just because I can make millions, this ain't doing nothing. So I just love the freedom and the flesh and blood of my people more so than I do the money. Finally, in 1971, his conviction was overturned. Do you have any regrets that you, um, you refused to join the army? Many people believe in fighting for the freedom, and this is just part of what I believed. So it's nothing that I regret, not at all. If I regret it, then it wasn't sincere. Do you still think of retirement? Well, I wanted to, but I thought about my children. I watched the baby cry another day. Ten years from now, that baby will just be ten years old, and I'll need money. He'll need school books. He'll need clothes, bus fare. So I'm just saving money now. I have three daughters and one son. Save all I can. So all I'm doing now, every month is saving at least 75% of my money for the future of my children. Putting it away for 15 years, I don't want to touch it. I don't need it. And don't have to worry about my children because this is a hard world. Don't nobody give you nothing. You have to work for it. And now Ali is behaving like the old Ali. One more knockdown in this round, the fight is automatically over. Bonavina is running. If he goes down again, it's over! Ali is the knockout winner at 2 minutes and 3 seconds by my unofficial clock of the final round. Larry, I'd like you to explain why you've been crying. You know, so I really respect a whole lot, really respect Ali a whole lot. It hurt you to punish him that way, didn't it? I feel that he fought the one of the baddest heavyweight in the world today. And you cannot take credit from him. Obviously, the things that you're going through now, would you like to comment on that? Well, I have what they call Parkinson's syndrome. It causes a tremor in your hands and affects the speech. So all that old talk, I'm the baby. I have to slow down. <laughs> It seems to bug other people more than it does you. When I sit and talk to you, you seem to be fine with the speech and everything. Sometimes. Don't bother me. I hope he gets done. Yeah, yeah. We're all praying for you. I'm just going to show you a picture and you can react to it any way you want to. You can't talk. Now, I know you can talk. You talk to me, you talk to Lonnie, you talk to Howard. On this day, he didn't want to talk. In his kitchen, away from the microphone, Ali explained that he didn't want people to feel sorry for him, didn't want to be pitied, didn't want people to say, poor Ali, he fought too long. He still has no regrets about what boxing did to him because of what boxing has done for him. Ali, 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 touch it, touch it. No, well, <coughs> sometimes he does that. He'll just start sleeping, but he'll have these flashbacks, and he'll have, it's like nightmares, and his face will twist up like he's boxing, and he'll throw punches at people. And he does it at night sometimes. Sometimes I have to get out of the bed. Whenever he starts snoring heavily, I have to get out of the bed because I know it's going to start. Right. So when he starts, what's the next room? So he's not putting on when he's doing no, it. This actually happens. And the doctor told us not to really try to wake him if that but, does happen because he might end up with a heart attack because it might frighten him. So I don't. I just get up and move. That's, that's, that's the hard part. You have to sort of...
I think in anything, whether regardless to what the area, it's you and Martin Luther King for me. It would take forever for me to tell you why, but uh, you made a young man believe that he could do anything. So uh, that's why you're very special to me. It's hard to believe all the years. Everything that's passed between us. It's so hard to believe. And so memorable. And now, it's time to say to you, Muhammad, God bless you. You are exactly who you said you are. You never wavered. You are free to be who you want to be. I love you. This is a hard world. Don't nobody give you nothing. You have to work for it. It is befitting that I leave the game just like I came in. Beating a big bad monster who knocks out everybody and no one can whoop him. No people gain freedom until some have to die, some lose the wealth, some give up money.